A very good evening. You're watching News 9 with me, Akshita. And first up, Ved Vedic was in the middle of a storm after meeting Hafiz Saeed has set off another bomb. Today, he said that Kashmir should be made free. Ved Prakash Vedic has landed in yet another controversy. Remember, he hit the headlines over his meeting with 2008 Mumbai attack mastermind Hafiz Saeed. And once again, he's in the news for saying that there is no harm if Kashmir is made an independent nation. कि कश्मीर आजाद हो तो मेरा हमेशा ये कहना रहा है जब नरसिंह राव जी प्रधानमंत्री थे तब मैंने इस पर विस्तार से बोला और लिखा था और मैंने कहा था कि आजादी यस अलेडगी नो आजादी यस सेपरेशन नो कश्मीर को अलग करना मुर्खता है लेकिन कश्मीरी लोगों को वैसी ही आजादी मिलनी चाहिए जैसी दिल्ली में मुझको है और लाहौर में या इस्लामाबाद में किसी और नेता या पत्रकार को राज्यों को एक संघात्मक शासन में बांधा है लगभग पूरी स्वतंत्रता है इसलिए मैं कहता हूं कि दोनों कश्मीरों को मिलाना चाहिए और उनको दोनों मुल्कों के बीच जोड़ का काम करना चाहिए well, uh, that is the shocking statement made by Vedic where he is stating that uh, Kashmir should be made free, should be made an independent nation. No doubt this will spark a huge uproar, but already a slew of reactions coming in. Let's listen in to what uh, Rahul Gandhi had to say. Yeah, he's, he's an RSS man. Yeah, he's, he's an RSS man. Yeah, he's, he's an RSS man. Rahul Gandhi there uh, going ahead and stating that yes, Vedic belongs to the RSS, almost hinting that maybe he uh, has some sort of uh, extreme ideology when it comes to Kashmir. To once again highlight exactly what Vedic said, uh, he has stated that both India and Pakistan should stop fighting over Kashmir and make it an independent nation. And already over this quite a bit of uproar, remember Vedic uh, made headlines after going ahead and meeting with a 26 26th 11 mastermind Hafiz Sayed in Pakistan while he did go ahead and back that saying that it wasn't uh, something that was arranged to by the government or uh, by uh, wasn't representing Baba Ramdev but he was simply going as a journalist but with yet another controversial statement everyone's going to be questioning as to whether in fact uh, Vedic is uh, trying to go ahead and land himself in a soup even as the government is trying to wash its hands off of this man yet another a controversial statement being made by him. Well, uh, remember the Kashmir issue is a very sensitive and delicate issue, something that has raged on for generations together. And with the way they're going ahead and stating that Kashmir should be made an independent nation, there's no doubt that the centre will once again try to go ahead and wash its hands of Vedic and state quite clearly that this is his personal view and nothing that they share. And well, the centre has indicated that it is willing to bring in the Uniform Civil Code. Law Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad said the provision of the UCC is already there in Article 44 of the Constitution and that wide consultations with stakeholders are required for further steps in this regard. Well, this clarification was in response to BJP MP Yogi Adityanath who had asked the government if there was any proposal to implement a uniform civil code across the country in the interests of national unity and integrity. The UCC was part of BJP's election manifesto but this is the first time that the Narendra Modi government has formally put forth its stance on the contentious issue after coming to power. Remember, there has been a debate to replace religious laws with a common set that will govern every citizen of India. The Uniform Civil Code aims to cover areas of marriage, divorce, inheritance, adoption as well as maintenance. Article 44 that the law minister pulled out states that implementing a UCC is the mandate of every state government. And considering that the BJP has gone ahead and mentioned the same in its manifesto, it was but inevitable for the government to pull it up. Now, if in fact a UCC is brought in, uh, there could be quite a bit of people going ahead and giving a thumbs up for the move, stating quite clearly that this will help in uniting the people, putting across uh, all uh, sorts of division, be it religion, be it caste or any sort of other division, all of it will be put aside simply for the UCC.
My colleague Wergis joins us over the phone lines with more details. Wergis, the UCC has been a, a bone of contention in the past, uh, but looks like we could be seeing it becoming a reality soon. Well, it could be coming a reality, but the question has been that the country has always been governed, especially with regards to personal laws, by the laws that were laid to different communities. So it was most of the religions, religious laws that uh, that were used in the personal lives of the citizens, especially with regards to marriage, with regards to inheritance, divorce, and uh, also with regards to how uh, female members of a family inherited wealth from their fathers. So and uh, also with regards to alimony. So these were the, some of the crucial areas in which the uh, uh, the question about applying the UCC was given. Now, there is a grey area over here because uh, since uh, from independence, the, with relations to personal law, it has been the religious laws that have been uh, functioning with regards to communities uh, in all these aspects. The removal of these laws will in fact uh, come to a point of asking which law will become the basic uh, hall hallmark on which the UCC will be built on. So, with regards to divorce and other personal matters, uh, will it be based on the religious laws or will it be on secular laws that would be uh, framed such as in the case of uh, France which took on secular laws for its uh, uh, citizens, will it be that those kind of laws that will be framed for Indians also or will one community's laws dominate as the UCC, uh, the Un Uniform Civil Code is something that has been causing an apprehension uh, with a lot of people. Now the Congress has in fact gone against this entire uh, effort. In fact, they said that uh, bring, if we bring in the UCC, uh, there will be chaos in the country and that a lot of communities will oppose uh, to it. But uh, the uh, government has been uh, consistent with the matter, saying that uh, the UCC is the most important uh, part of its manifesto and that it has not forgotten. Even in the last manifesto, they had mentioned about the UCC and uh, that it should be a general law that should govern. Now, the, uh, the debate is, however, which would be uh, the hall, which uh, community's laws will be the hallmark on which the new UCC will be framed. Will it be based on the dominant uh, community's laws or will all the community laws take, will be taken? taken into focus while framing the draft. That has been the challenge and the concern for a lot of people, uh, Akshita. Right, uh, Vergis, for the benefit of our viewers, if you could uh, go ahead and highlight exactly what the UCC is. Well, the Uniform Civil Code has been one of the demands made by the opposition party and especially the BJP for quite some time. When the NDA came to power uh, way back uh, uh, for the first time, even the Vajpayee government found it difficult to in fact go ahead with the UCC because most of its uh, strong uh, allies, especially the JDU then headed by George Fernandez, were not quite uh, uh, quite willing to go ahead with the UCC. So it had been a con bone of contention. Now the problem has been that the UCC or the uh, Code of uh, the uh, Uniform civil code is something that would in fact uh, separate all the religious laws that have been pertaining to a person's uh, uh, per, uh, personal uh, relationship uh, as well as his community relationship it will be brought into the domain of secular laws now most of the countries in the west have a uniform civil code that has been framed with regards to how this uh, the country or the republic would like to take forward the personal relationship of its citizens now in india way back uh, this kind of a law was not uh, put into force especially with regards to the matter that there were so many communities that had different laws of succession, laws of uh, marriage and laws of divorce functioning. So what happened is that the government uh, at that time not to initiate a communal right in the country decided to go ahead with the personal laws that as part of its uh, 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 effort to ensure that there is no communal rights that will go with uh, the laws that the British had already uh, uh, taken into account with regards to uh, the family uh, succession and uh, uh, with regards to uh, marriage and divorce. So what happened is that uh, these same personal laws that were based on religious lines were in fact incorporated for several uh, people. So each community was g governed on these matters by their personal laws as the secular law of the country. So now uh, the government is in fact trying to ensure that they will be able to have a uniform civil code that will move away from all the personal laws or probably take the gist of the personal laws and apply it uniformly for all the citizens irrespective of caste, creed uh, or gender of that person, this particular law will come into force that will be the same for everyone and with regards to all these matters, uh, Akshita. Right, Vakis, thank you so much for joining us with uh, all those details. But, uh, of course, the UCC could come into effect as what the government has stated. They are going ahead and mulling over the decision. The opposition, as expected, has gone ahead and stated that they are not for the Uniform Civil Code. But this was a much expected move, considering that the BJP had mentioned this in its manifesto.
And DK Shivkumar faced a tough time in the assembly today. The energy minister was cornered by the opposition parties, demanding answers on the power crisis in the state. They have demanded uh, DK Shivkumar outline the measures the government will take to overcome the problem of power shortage. <laughs> Just on the Abiman Purkwage, I also pay Sugandaja Unar Ashkodilla in a misopology carcade. So, a Malayu Rudy Marco, La Beri Adar, Kakadaga, Berakre, Lassandre, Nimel Kurdu, and Manuman. Again, an entrance, Bertil Becker, Bando replied for Tajir Somi, Voladagli and Tele on the Nimel Kutro. In Amma Sneta, Indira Kutro. well, the energy minister, though, started his response by holding out a lemon and said that he had not gotten some voodoo magic done, but had got it because someone gave it to him outside the assembly. Well, with the monsoon playing Toronto and water storage in Hydel Power Reservoirs running low, the government is desperately hoping for divine intervention to avert an impending power crisis. Shukumar's plans to improve power supply through a string of thermal plants, including the one at Nidodi in Dakshina Kannada district, drew opposition from Sports Minister Abhay Chandra Jain. So, Elatkina Ati Jasti acid content here on Tadu Nimbe. Dumbigim Kari Lande Nam Halili Dumbi Dela, Kapo, Adu Makake glass or the Moditel. Not a little cup, non cooler little cup, non butter little cup, a lock of kina, a cup, dumbi rodo, but a stress to what come. Shambu kina dika de vanilla, Shiva, Ishwara, Ella de Urkina, Dodono, Parmesh, Ratanam, Hindu Dharam. So the other million and third day, Nimbegim Hulilla, Dumbigim Karilla, Shambu kina dika de vanilla, Numbike kina, Dodda Gunailla. So, I trust you, you're not going to be able to do it.